213D. This time we're considering active transport. Now the definition of active transport is the movement of substances from where they are in a low concentration to where they are being accumulated in a high concentration but to go against the concentration gradient let's just write that in against the concentration gradient to achieve this you have to apply energy in biological systems that energy comes from respiration so typically cells doing active transport will have a high rate of respiration and they will be building up concentrating within the cell a high concentration of a particular molecule if we look at that diagrammatically here's our cell and we may be taking into the cell a molecule respiration within the cell provides the energy to drive it from a low concentration to a high concentration if we look at a particular example of this we can see in the plant cell in the roots there's a particular tissue called a root hair which is a large surface area and what these cells do is that they actively transport into the cell minerals so these could be things like sodium minerals potassium and salts such as nitrate and they concentrate these inside the cell so there's a high concentration inside the cell here so if we just add that so in here is a high concentration and outside is the low concentration an interesting development of this which we will see when we study plants is that because it is highly concentrated inside the cell so there's a high concentration of salts and minerals inside this this actually encourages the uptake of water by osmosis so this is a separate point but very much linked to the idea of active transport so the active transport of the salts which are required by the plant has a second consequence of bringing about osmosis in the root hair cell